Only after taking a selfie to prove he's wearing a face mask will Thompson Budamanto be assigned any pickups. Budamanto is an Uber driver delivering food, not passengers, still nervous about the pandemic. Well, I did it anyway because I think it's, it's a good thing to help people out. Make sure the face cover or mask covers your face. Starting today, face coverings are mandatory for all Uber drivers. There's also new responsibilities for passengers. Before ordering a vehicle, riders have to agree to conditions too, including that they've washed or sanitized their hands and that they have a face covering to wear while in the vehicle. Inside, you must sit in the back seat and have the windows open for ventilation. If a rider doesn't have a face covering, the driver can refuse to pick them up. If they're not wearing masks, I'm not unlocking my doors. Erla Phillips is an Uber driver in Toronto. This is one of the masks that I use on a regular basis. I'm running low on them. Phillips says uh, Uber should have made the new rules sooner, I and she says it needs to do more to help drivers get supplies. They've constantly made statements uh, saying that, you know, they're supporting drivers, that you know, they're doing uh, everything they can, and it's been extremely slow. Uber says the changes are happening now because cities are starting to reopen. It says it's delivered 5 million masks to drivers already. Competitor Lyft will be unveiling similar rules in coming weeks. For Budamanto, not much changes. His wife, who stopped driving for Uber weeks ago over COVID concerns, made sure he was protected from the beginning. I was the one who uh, asked him to wear the mask and the rubber gloves and the hand sanitizer. That's given them at least some peace of mind. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Toronto.